I need the latest smartphone. I want a new Tech Hoyer watch. That new LV bag. Oh, my friends all have it. I need to have one. But do I have enough money? I don't know. But I've got credit cards. So let's just buy. That is one of the issues that some people face. We buy on credit. We don't earn the right to buy new uh, big ticket items. So I'm going to talk about the long-term savings for spending jar, which is part of the six jars system, a program or money management system by T. Harv Ecker. We know that smart investors should plan for spending and they should delay gratification. So these are two concepts that I'm going to cover. And one of them is about how we should put aside some money from everything we earn that goes into this jar. And when we have enough, then only do we spend on these uh, big ticket purchases that we, that we want. So I'm not saying that we don't buy them, but we need to earn the right. And sometimes we need to delay the gratification because we don't really need to have it right now. So what are some of these uh, items or these big ticket uh, uh, products that we buy through this LTSS jar? So it could be uh, seasonal gifts. Let's say we are very generous and we want to give nice Christmas gifts to people or, or Chinese New Year, there comes you know, the Ang Pao's. So sometimes people feel, oh, it's so difficult during this season because I need to spend a lot of money. However, if we had already budgeted for it and already set aside money for this throughout the year, we would not feel the pain come that season. On top of that, we might be uh, setting aside money for the future education of our children. University education is not cheap these days. And what about annual tax? Some of us, we need to pay tax annually on top of what is deducted monthly. So we can use the LTSS jar to set aside some money for that. On top of that, I'd say we need to set aside money for emergencies. What happens if your car breaks down? If your roof springs a leak? All of this money needs to come from somewhere. And instead of using our credit cards, we should already have the money at hand to spend on that. Now, let's talk about debt. Some of us, we, we start this money management uh, program with existing debt. So how do we get out of it? So let's set aside a portion of money from this LTSS jar to deal with the debt. Let's not uh, pay or be too ambitious and pay off everything from uh, this jar all at once because we still need to live but let's apportion uh, some of the money to pay off this debt while we continue living our lives so let's keep it real on top of that you know the LTSS jar could be used for down payments on something that you intend to buy at some point in your life it could be uh, putting aside that money for a new car because you know you need one in maybe two years three years time so we set aside some money from the LTSS jar we know you know we have sufficient you know once it's already been topped up to that amount that is needed for the down payment or even you know holidays let's say you're planning for a, a big europe holiday you know set aside some money to go towards that uh, that fund from the ltss portion so how much should we set aside the recommended rule of thumb is 10 percent from your earnings of course once again it's up to you to vary this according to uh, how much you earn and so on so it's really up to you uh, last tip the LTSS jar should not be used to save up for retirement we will cover a different jar that uh, takes care of the retirement portion all right happy saving and spending for now see you guys